Hello there peoples, this is Green XI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Grandia. This is episode 27. In the last episode, we made it to the Llama Mountains in order to make it to Gumbo, the warm, sunny, festival-filled village, apparently. Uh, today, we're going to be finishing off the Llama Mountains. Uh, seems to be a lot of these sort of lifty things. That's the best way I can describe them, sorry. <laughs> I'll give it to you, Zach. Yay, Sue and Fina both leveled up in one fight. <laughs> Oh god. There we have it. I've spent about eight minutes-ish fighting loads of enemies in this little area. Because there's so many condensed into one little area. It's like, I'm not fighting every single one, every single battle. You know, it's, it's too much. I think that's the way we need to go, do you reckon? We can always come back if it's not. So, oh, ah. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing up there. Sort of all by the looks of it. Okay, we'll go in the opposite direction. To where the arrow's pointing to, I think. That should give us the best chance of finding items, I think. Or maybe not. Alright. Try the other one then. Look at those birds down there. It keeps making me think they're enemies and that we're going to have to go down there, but I don't think we are. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so, a way to come from that way as well. Oh, I just saw my enemies. Right, don't know. Let's get this quick. Health weed. 80 HP. 80 is good. No, I, I will take it. Not we've had much use for that sort of stuff, but I'll take it. Yep, there we go. I wouldn't mind find. Oh, okay. Don't know if we could get on then. I wouldn't mind finding out what was the other way with, you know, the millions of enemies blocking the way, because. I don't know, I just get the impression that maybe... Uh, oh, that maybe there was something there, but... It must have been a reward for all that, surely. I won't make you sit through me going back all the way if... If I do. But I do want to check it out. This looks end... Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm going back in, I'm going to go back the other way and hopefully avoid most of the enemies. Okay, we're back here. All the enemies haven't respawned. I forgot I need to sort of save and load for that to happen, don't know. But, it's got to be a good item, right? If it's not, I'll be surprised. Is that around you? Ooh. Is it it's so far out of the way? Just money? Just gonna go all the way around so we end up. I think I know where we might end up. Oh, hello. <laughs> Is he gonna do anything? Oh, chest, chest. What do we get? Ice stone. Speeds casting. Oh, that sounds pretty bloody good. I might put that on Fina. I will. I will put that on Fina. Right now, she's only got the Jade Armlet or something like that, which ups her attack by two. Jade Charm, okay. But, if we put this on... Oh, that's going to be... I'm glad we came back in. Uh, Fina learnt Crackle in that fight. And oh my god, that speed up. It's serious speed up. Let's go backwards to... There was another way we didn't go. Um, it's serious speed up with spells. Like, amazing. Her heal now? Instant. Pretty much instant. Even though it's still level 1 heal kind of thing. It's so good. Okay. I wonder if we'll run into another fight. But yeah, I'll show that off when we when we have another fight against new enemies or something. I'll, sh I'll show that off for now. Um, yeah. Yeah, not yet. I'm just... Ooh, oh, Christ. Oh, sword. This could be two amazing things we came back for. Dragon killer. Ooh. Back to on dragons. And I do like that. I want I do want Justin to have a mace. Oh. Uh because what is it vitality or wisdom? Is it is one or two? Let's have a look. Let's no, let's have a proper look. Right. Uh his vitality is only thirty six, and I'd like that to, to go up a little bit. So I'd like him to start using more yeah, more macy stuff to get the vitality up. Agility as well, I should probably be using more wind magic with him. 
but at the same time I want him to get water up a bit more up to level 8 for that so I don't know I, I don't know why I should be doing really but let's try equipping that for him instead of the fish sword oh it's worse even though it's effective against dragons I don't want him to have it god knows he's powerful enough as it is but we'll keep, we're gonna keep a ha keep a hold on that I think I shall see you back out on the world map and we're back uh, I, di I decided to go back to that save point which was uh, the start of the south of Lama Mountains and recover there, so didn't have a fight on the way either, so don't even need to use the inn, even though they're free anyway. <laughs> but I did it anyway. Right, let's see what Gumbo Village is like then. Gadwin was praising it, bigging it up. Oh, it does look nice actually. Like, really nice. I like it. I'd love to go on all day somewhere like a Hawaii. Ish. We need to get to the item shop and start selling some crap as well. We're filling up again. <laughs> What's with all the frogs? I mean, I like frogs. I got a frog statue of my own, but... <laughs> figurine thing. It's the village of Gumbo. First, we must find a boatman. We have to go to Twin Towers by sea. From a white beach in paradise, a boat ride into an emerald sea, a fine tropical breeze. Whew. Brr. It's so cold. Didn't you say it's a warm village? It's so quiet. I don't hear any festival sounds. The sound of waves is all I hear. Gadwin, this isn't quite what I imagined from what you told me. Hmm. This is strange. The old gumbo had an entirely different atmosphere. That bracing salt air is certainly that of gumbo. It's a fishing village, but much different than diet. Really? Uh, ah. <laughs> a joke. It's awful cold, isn't it? Let's have him go into the village. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's try and find that boat one. I want to find a weapon shop as well. That would be nice. What's this? Oh, I thought it was an entrance. Guest house. No, I really don't want to go in there. Oh, this. This looks... Hardy. Tool, sh oh, tool shed. Okay. That's a unique name for such a... Oh. Oh, weapon shop. Whatever. <laughs> Magic! Have we got any mana, mana eggs? Yeah, we've got two. Okay. Mm. Ah, look at that. Look at Gadwin's. You can't give him any more magic. If that's not hinting at something, I don't know what it is. Right, I'm going to give... I just want to give fire to Justin. Just because he'll be in the game for good, so... Okay, learnt burn. That's good. I don't use the other mana egg right now. Mm. No, not really. Ooh, what's that barrel up to? Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, let's get rid of our crap first. A business view. Yes, sir. Don't fall asleep on the job. Right. Okay. What do we... Got millions of vaccines from the mountain. Get rid of them. Uh, I'll keep one, I think. Yeah, keep one. Ultra drink or the 20 SP to entire party. Get yeah, Definitely keeping our earrings. Poison. I guess we'll keep it for now. Uh, plus three. We got a plus four one, so I'm going to get rid of that. Mana egg. Ooh. Dragon killer. I might just get rid of it. I, I don't really care. Hillbow, we can get rid of that. Um, hold on, we'll have a look what we got here. Antidote. Blue pill, 20 MP all ally. That's good. Um, Jade Charm, I'll get rid of that now. Stores 20 SP to one friend, so 50 HP to entire party. It sounds... Mm, I don't know. Don't wanna. Don't wanna. Don't wanna. Don't wanna. <laughs> uh, 20 SP to one friend, that is mm, pretty good. Get rid of Elthweed for the... We'll keep that. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, Dragon Killer, I'm gonna get rid of it. I know it's a pretty good find, but there's a lot of money, and I'm not that fussed. 10 HP to one friend, we got better now. Um, poison resistance, good, get rid of the antidote. I, mm. How many item slots have we got left now? We've got, looks like they're filling up on three characters, but Gadwin's only got two slots, so it's not too bad. Um, I probably should have kept that spell block. Oh well. And I think. I think that might do it. Yeah, let's get buy in. Let's buy some crap. Weapon-wise, I would like a mace, like I was saying. But there's no maces here. Okay. 
knives. Uh, it's worse for Fina, and I'd rather keep the whip to get up to level 24. Which you might be close to now. Uh, fog axe. Don't think... No, we're going to keep the swords. It's not much good in the, in the weapon range, are they? Armour? Any better? Okay. Fog shirts. Anti-water level, so... So I guess you resist more water, yeah? Anti-fire, we're going to a volcano, so that might be good. I would like to equip... Get one for Sue. Three... Three thousand is a lot, isn't it? No, we'll get one for Sue. We're going to a... She needs a bit more defence, don't she? Let's face it. Okay. Uh, fog shirt. Don't want any of them. Turns normal attacks. So, counter kind of thing? That's a lot of money. Oh, stuff's expensive. Stone heads. What was that? Don't fall if attacked. Oh, that's good. That is good. I'm going to check on Justin. Um, a lot more move. More defence. There's a little bit less move, but more defence. I'd like... I quite like that. And I chuck him... At least on Fina. I mean, yeah. Um... More move on Gadwin would be nice. We'll go for that. A lot more defence for Sue. That'll be good. She don't even need as much move with her throwing weapons anyway. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I'll get... I guess I'll get one shield. But for who? I think Sue again, do you think? Yeah. And that means we can give Sue's shield that she had to Justin, because Justin's got the worst one, I think. No, he hasn't. Okay, never mind. So we can sell all our shit now. Come on, wake up. <laughs> Lazy shit. Alright, get rid of that. Sneakers, we can get rid of that. We should have plenty of that sort of stuff. Is that it? No. Dragon boots. There we go. Used up quite a lot of money, but we still got some left. Let's check the item shop. I don't normally need to buy from this sort of thing, but we'll have a look. Metal frogs. Oh, we found one of them. And they're quite expensive, so... <clears throat> Critical resistance. Prevents falling asleep. That... Yeah, okay. Um, I can see the use of some of that sort of stuff, but it's just not something I use. And why would you use that sort of stuff when you can up your spells by using them? That's good. That's a lot of damage, but it's expensive. Maybe if you know a boss is coming up or something, get one of them. But otherwise, I don't really see the point. Anyway, that's our shopping done. Armor-wise, we did good there. Weapon-wise, nah. Right, where are we heading to next? Oh, the arrow was pointing this way, so I came this way. What a dick. Get back in there. Hmm. Okay. Let's find out why it's so cold. Something's going on, yeah? Excuse me, you're there in the swimsuit? You know a boatman with strong arms? Want to go to the Twin Towers? <gasps> Eek, what is it with you? Don't get any closer. Huh? What's wrong with her? Why'd she suddenly run away like that? No, you, Justin. You probably offended her. <laughs> no, I didn't. What are you saying, Sue? Would I do something like that? <laughs> what are you so touchy about? But it was a bit strange. Look, there are people over there, too. Let's ask them about a boatman. Yeah, oh, you've got to stay on the paths. Which ain't a bad thing. Perhaps you're a messenger of the Fog God? Messenger of the Fog God. I'm a Master Fog, employed by the Fog God. Now that you have come to Gumbo, please extol the fogs. What's extol even mean? I don't... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you. Those armbands of yours. You're a couple by chance. Matching armbands? A couple, right? No, well, they do match, but... Yes, I'm the Fog Sorceress, who channels the Fog God. My speciality is telling love fortunes. Like your fortune told. Um, okay. I see it. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> Excuse me. Fog God has come. Don't worry. Okay. Obviously, something weird going on here, but at the same time, it's weird even for JRPG standards. Excuse me. We're looking for a boatman to take us to the Twin Towers. No? Hmm. Well, it's an attractive girl. What? Oh, no, not a girl. You're a boy. That's right. A boy. A boy, I say. What was that about? <laughs> Fina, I think he mistook you for a boy. Yikes. Don't worry about it, Fina. From the moment I met you, I knew you were a woman. 
That's rude, both of you. It's totally uncalled for. Uh, I don't understand what it is, but something funny's going on. Whatever it is, it's very strange. Anyway, doesn't seem likely that we'll get a boat to the Twin Towers. Not until we sort this problem out, I'm sure. What's this house about? Dining hall. Okay, let's try it. At least it's not like house one, house two, house three. <laughs> they're, they're improving on their naming. Okay, I can't turn the camera. I haven't seen a customer for a long time. No customers in here. Perhaps they're not so popular. No, oh, the Gourmet Frog restaurant is a favourite dating spot for couples. We used to have them waiting in line. Hmm. Odd. Okay, nothing much going on in there. Bloody bizarre. Come on, loading times. Blimey. Right, where have we been? Over here. Okay, plenty of people around. I don't know if I want to talk to every single person. So, where are you? Young men nowadays are pitiful. They can't date women, but we had a hard time too. Persuading, praising, gifts. But I did marry the most beautiful woman in the village. Right, Grandma? <laughs> Even Grandpa brags about his own romance. <laughs> Well, now you lovebirds are young and stay together. You're bold. What lovebirds? Stop playing dumb. You're with this pretty girl day, right? Oh. Okay. Found the entrance anyway. That's, that's, that's a good start. Great intent. I feel like this room's going to be important at some point. Not for now, though. Okay. Where are we going? You? Staring out to sea, you look important. Don't yell out all of a sudden, okay? I still can't forget. I still like Taylor. Uh oh, I blew it. I let it slip out of my mouth. T Taylor? I mean, we all like a bit of Taylor Swift now and again, but you don't have to go mad about it. I, I don't. But <laughs> you can see all the way across the village gumbo from here. Let's see. Okay, good. Get a bit of a bird's eye view in it all. Okay, at the top through the gates, maybe? Or is that where we came from? That's where we came from. Alright. Maybe across by, yeah. Where the harbour is. Any ideas? Can I go to the Twin Towers? Don't be ridiculous. The rocks would smash my boat to bits. It's not possible, but dangerous. Dander's the only guy in the village who would row to the Twin Towers. Okay, Dander. Yeah, don't go by the poison. Exactly, we were told about that earlier. Can we just nick the boat and go ourselves? Is, is that not a thing? <laughs> How would you? Today's youth are totally spineless. They lack inspiration. No inspiration at all. For example, they wouldn't rush into fire or water for love. All these youth are spineless. Do you look very young too? Of course I'm still only 20. Oh. Alright. It's me, Taylor. Please, please grant my wish. Ah, oh, Taylor. The other guy liked her. <laughs> In particular, I beg that I will meet. No. Not meet Tom Tom. Because I want... No. Don't want to see him. Alright. How many tits, you weirdo? <laughs> Dan does not hear today. He must be hanging around the chief's house again. Okay, chief's house. Let's go and have a little look for that. I feel like we've been most places in this village, but haven't seen a chief's house. Ah, oh, house three. House one. Hopefully it's called chief's house. What's up here? Yeah. Little, oh, little island on zone. We saw it when we, it was panning, wasn't it? It was panning when we came to the village. We saw that little island. Uh, we just crossed by her. No. Odd. Three of us are good friends. We're always together, right, Shirumi and Yui Yui? Don't get this wrong now. No one's a couple here. All right. They're pushing that, aren't they? Out you, you look old enough to be some sort of elder. Hot spring has some flowed recently. What should we do? You say it's a hot spring here. I love a hot bath. Hot spring isn't flowing. Because of that, I haven't taken a bath in two months. Oh, dear. <laughs> Is this the chief's? Yeah, we found it. See, with a little bit of patience. Hello. Oh, finally the honoured guests have appeared. Oh, okay. Dr. Robotnik, reincarnate. Well, they can do the... You're gonna have a festival. I'll come directly to the point. We'll be travelling with that young lady there. By young lady, do you mean me? No, no, the other young lady. You with the matching armband. 
You two are a couple, right? Love through good and bad through suffering. Uh, yeah, of course we are. I guess right, a bell ringer. So you are a couple. <laughs> Fina didn't say no. Okay, we're the brave couple. Just a minute, first of all, Justin and I are not particularly a couple. Come on, Fina. Seems to make him happy. And besides, there's no harm, right? No, what are you saying? Now, now, the couple has appeared. Prepare the feast. Uh oh, the brave couple. They got something planned, and there's a reason why everyone's been saying they ain't a couple. And stuff like that. It is I, the chief of Gumbo. Ah, yes, the chief. <laughs> I'll let you listen for this part. <laughs> that was very good, sir. Well done. Now, what'd you bomb? <laughs> How about it? Do you think everyone had a good time? How about I sing one more song? No, oh, that's alright. <laughs> do you, you do look tired. Why not take a walk outside and breathe the fresh air? Anyone who's tired, tell me. And let's go to the guest house. Okay, let's just go straight back. We've seen the place. Yeah. Yeah. You tired? Is that it? Then I'll escort you to the guest house. Yes, yes. Come here tomorrow. We'll have the finale to the festival. Finale, is it? That sounds like fun. Or if you say so, I have preparations to make. Yeah, if you say so, Justin. <laughs> you know, some of the bats coming. They're going to ask us to go to the volcano, aren't they? That's what they're going to do. When you said something like, I'll sing you my night night best hits until morning, I wonder what we could do. Everyone was having such a good time. I wonder if the festival has ended. They talked about starting the festival. I suppose we could have kept that dragon sword and chucked in stashing, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, so the guest house is the inn for this place. Seem to have named them weird names in this way, in this town, like tool shed for weapon shop. Say, Justin, don't you think the reception again is kind of strange? Something's wrong. I have a bad feeling about this. You're being over sensitive, Fina. Then they say they'd have the finale in the tent. Let's go there. Yeah, let's go. Wherever the hell it was, of course. Um, is it? No, it's this way. It is. I don't know if there's a quicker way to get there. I'm just going to where we came. We went last time, I mean. Is there anything else around here? It's not like we found any treasure chests in this place. Oh, fog, it's fog. Looks like in Gumba they worship fog statues. Mm, so it seems. Like this one over there, too. Wonder if the fog's their god. They did mention fog god, didn't they? One of them did. Okay. Let's get going. I'm guessing those little windmills are their form of electricity. Yeah. It's one of those sorts of town, towns, isn't it? Oh, not, no? Oh, it's the greeting place. And, oh, I'm going to have to see you there. I can't remember where it was. Okay, found the greeting tent. Oh, I remember the names of these places, but I don't remember exactly where they are. That's my problem. It's the couple. The festival finale is finally here. You ready? Yeah, we're ready. Ah, oh, no, no, no. Don't be... No, game. Talk to him. Talk. Yeah, come on. Oh, it's great. Like yesterday, the two of you can sit there. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Let's do it, Fina. You don't want to offend the villagers. What will they do? I'm excited. Attention. The finale of the festival shall begin. Now certainly you were told that the villagers worried about the fire of the volcano going out. The chief did sing to us in a loud voice. Great. He's saying... He was talking to him as if... Whatever. <laughs> as on the village legends, a young couple of man and woman are to be offered in sacrifice. I'm getting Conde Petit vibes. Sacrifice? Hold on a minute. We haven't heard any such story. What? Truly? Didn't I actually say that to you? This won't do. I tried my best not to forget. I've gotten forgetful lately. Well, now everything's been said. You do embellish the finale as the brave couple. Oh. oh, they've taken the tent stone. The, yeah, everything. Excuse me, brave couple. We're afraid of being a sacrifice. We did not attain the love of lovers. To attain the love of two people, you have to be that brave couple who do not fear death. Hooray! 
You've shown bravery that will go down in the world history of couples. I'll surely be happy with Danda. What the hell? They've got avatars. Wait, just a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is, isn't this a bit much, Mr. Chief? Hush about becoming a sacrifice. What? You can't say defeating a dragon is impossible. Still, it's fine if they're eaten first. Shit, we got a dragon coming and I sold the dragon sword. Shit. <laughs> it's not a problem, I suppose. This is terrible, Gadwin. We have to chase after those two. Okay, so we know they're coming. But I'm guessing for now, start of the volcano dungeon. If that's where we're going. But we'll, it'll just be them two. Stupid! That's why I said I had a bad feeling about this. Whatever will we do now? Couldn't be helped. We didn't know. <laughs> Look at his avatar. <laughs> really? They were acting too nice. Didn't you think it's strange? No, oh, Fina. I was enjoying the banquet. I guess we're opposites. Yeah. Both adventurers, but, you know, little nuances and all that. Where are we going? Ah, the volcano. I hit my fanny. What? <laughs> you don't say that in a kid's game. I mean, I'm sure they're going for the American version of fanny, which is your ass, but bloody hell. <laughs> Fina, are you alright? <laughs> this is what it's come to. <laughs> Justin, don't you feel a little bit responsible for this? Yeah, 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 I know, it's all my fault. It's my fault you hit your fanny, Fina. At any rate, we can't go back now. If we beat that fire dragon, there won't be a problem, right? Oh, sure. Change the subject. But I guess you're right. Let's go, Justin. I'm sure the fire dragon's at the summit. That's the Fina I know. Right on. Let's go. First up. Ah, oh, the music to this place is so good. Okay, I'm going to take that because we got inventory slots and all that. I don't... I want to reach a dead end first if that's possible. I do want to save, by the way. Oh, no. No, we're not starting this place today. Come on now. I get too addicted. That's my, that's my thing. Once I get started on RPG, I just can't stop playing. Um, right, okay, there's a million bazillion ways to go. We'll save and then we'll start exploring next time. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we check out the volcano. I'll leave you to listen to the music for like half a minute or something. See you in a bit.